When we think about circulation changes in the brain, so affecting blood flow levels in the brain, there are really four main arteries that bring blood from the heart through the neck to the brain. And there's a difference between what's called anterior circulation and posterior circulation. Anterior circulation is the carotid vessels that travel up the front of the neck. Posterior circulation is the vertebral arteries that go basically through the posterior part of the neck, the back part of the neck. Now, they're different in the type of symptoms they typically provide. So anterior circulation symptoms are usually more related to cortical events. So these would be having changes in visual acuity, feeling brain fog, feeling like you're having memory troubles or word finding problems, things that are more associated with cognition, although they don't have to be. The vertebral arteries tend to be more associated with brainstem type problems because that's the area that they're irrigating. So these you'll notice more like that spinning type of dizziness or big sense of rocking that might happen. Also slurring of your speech, feeling like you're getting pushed over, feeling like your face is drooping, or nystagmus, things that are happening with your eyes. So the big difference is going to be we have more of a cortically related problem with the ones that are going up in the front, and we have more brainstem related symptoms in the ones that are going up the back. And again, there's a left and a right side to each of these as well. So if we're noticing that there's there's a sidedness to the dizziness or there's a sidedness to the part of your face that feels heavier or the movement of your tongue or the articulation of your speech, then that helps us localize which side as well.